Hey guys, finally sleeps here. As promised in yesterday's live stream, here's my strategy video for beating Man City in the final match of the On Track to Legends campaign in the World Tour. You're going to need this match for both 93 rated Raheem Sterling and the World Tour Traveler, was it World Traveler Milestone on the way to Zidane. But first, um, I finally got uh, some better lighting for the studio, so much better. Okay, first make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our live streams where I usually chat mostly about the market, investments, coin making strategies, silvers, golds, that kind of stuff. Check out finallysleeps.com too where I post all things FIFA Mobile. Now back to Man City. There are a lot of videos out there about how to beat Manchester City. Uh, the one thing that most have in common are the squads they use. They include attacking players that are trained high enough that their top line requires millions and millions of XP, not to mention an ass load of coins to even finish that training to achieve that goal. What I wanted to do was to show the strategy I used to complete this event with three specific players, all available for purchase in the market, no need for any training whatsoever. Um, the higher your boost is going to help, but I wanted to be able to show how anybody could beat this squad just with the coins to buy the players straight out of the market. In fact, the squad I used for this event included uh, the main five players on attack, all purchasable without any training. As far as defense goes, if Man City makes their way into your goal, you've already lost the match anyway, so don't worry about your keeper. Uh, one strong defender, I threw PK in, which uh, was available just this weekend. Um, you could pick him up in the market for five, six million uh, during the freeze hourly gift event. I ran a 4-2-4 because it gave me the most players on the attack. The key is to have two very fast wings. For me, I choose uh, Rodrigo, the UCL right mid, uh, because he was a triple threat. I could use him in multiple uh, events. And Werner, player of the month striker. Neither of which are on position, which is fine for this strategy. You want a strong right foot at right wing, which is opposite of what I would normally tell you. Uh, the reason being, this isn't a finishing position in this match. I'm not going to be putting this ball in with Rodrigo. He is just a crossing position. At the left striker, you want a very aggressive header master. For me, it's hands down Europa League 90 rated Weghorst. He's slow, but for this strategy, his speed is secondary. I'm not using him to dribble. All I want is his giant forehead. For the near post striker, I went with screen team Vardy because of his speed and his ability to finish in the box with either power or finesse. UCL Oxlade Chamberlain at the right side center mid is really fast. He's a defensive center mid and he has high defense and attack rates. And I'm going to use him to poach the ball off of Man City. Those five players are where this match will be won or lost. You start out with 10 minutes left in the first half, you're down by four. My strategy was to end the first half at at least one to four. If that wasn't the case, I forfeited. As soon as the ball leaves the 18-yard box, I press the attack, uh, looking for a quick counter. Once I gain possession, I'd get the ball out to Rodrigo, take him toward the corner, and as soon as I saw Weghorst making his way into the box, I'd cross into the space ahead of him, usually around the PK mark, and just let his giant forehead do its thing. Worst case, you're in a corner and take your chances there. Again, just pick out Weghorst. The thing that makes Rodrigo a great wing for this is his control on the touchline lets him roulette around the defenders. Most wings get bound up using their skill move here, but not Rodrigo. Stay wide, tap the skill move button at the same time you just tap the joystick toward the touchline to ensure he stays on the outside of the defender. You don't want him turning right into the defender. So ending the first half only down by three is important here either through a timed cross or a corner. Second half, you start out with possession. Uh, so if you end the first half with a goal and start out the second half with the ball, that's two of your five goals needed almost handed to you. Almost. Um, if I wasn't at two to four after kickoff, I forfeited. No reason wasting time. On kickoff, same strategy applied. Get it to Rodrigo, take it to the corner, and time your cross. 
If you don't get a goal, at least you can hopefully win a corner where you can use Weghorst to finish. Again, I needed to be within two of tying Man City by the 55 minute mark or I just forfeited. If you made it this far and City has another kickoff, again, you're looking for a quick counter. I stuck with speed. I did not rely on the second defender and timed my opportunity to step in on the ball. You want to stay goal side. If you find yourself chasing the ball carrier, just switch to a goal side defender. As soon as I did gain possession, I would repeat the first two goals, get it to Rodrigo, use his speed and roulette to work it up toward the touchline until I could get a cross into the penalty kick. Uh, for the cross, I touched and held for about a second. You got to get used to the timing where I wanted the ball to land. I didn't use the buttons and I didn't click on Weghorst himself. I chose where I wanted the ball to land. I played it into space and allowed Weghorst to leap into that area like the Flying Dutchman, even though he's not Dutch, uh, with his giant melon head for the finish. Down by one at 63 minutes, uh, just repeat it, same thing, use speed and time tackles rather than second defenders. Stay goal side and switch defenders instead of getting sucked into a chase. Get the ball to Rodrigo and try to hit Weghorst with a cross. If you miss him, like I did there, uh, just reset, regain possession, and work Rodrigo toward the corner. If there are too many defenders in the box uh, because you didn't get Rodrigo to the corner quick enough or you lost possession again and had to recover, I'd work him toward the 18-yard line and then look for either Werner or Vardy for a finish on that far post. Again... Every player involved in this tack is stock. You can purchase any of these players right now in the market. Zero training involved. Also, if you're paying attention, I'm using that stock UCL Oxlade Chamberlain to regain possession in midfield most of the time. Rodrigo to the flag, play in that cross, and look for Weghorst for the game-winning goal. Remember, this is a match with no tiebreakers. You have to win 5-4 to four in real time in order to secure the win and grab that Raheem Sterling right wing card and complete the World Traveler task on your way to Zidane. If you're into Prime Icons, I mean, I'm not going to ever use Zidane. Uh, hopefully these tips helped you out. Don't be afraid to forfeit rather than wasting your time or getting frustrated. Set small goals, and if you don't meet them, just reset. Never touch that second defender button. Never, 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 never. Stay goal side when defending and play the crosses for the easiest goals. Speed is important and stick with a 4-2-4. Don't worry about chemistry. Just play speed. Uh, don't worry about putting players off position. I had a right mid at right wing and a striker at left wing and it works just fine. Good luck. Stick with it. It only seems impossible until it isn't impossible. Again, it's going to seem like you'll never win this match and then all of a sudden it'll click and it'll come together and you'll be uh, putting Raheem Sterling in at right wing. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Plus, be sure to check out my weekly podcast, My Wife Hates Video Games, for an entertaining take on movies, books, science fiction, horror, pop culture, basically all things geek with a generous helping of FIFA Mobile for sure. Enjoy the rest of the holiday break. Thanks for hanging out with me today and as long as you keep showing up, I'll keep putting out content. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom those links.